This orthosis is a wrist caulk up made out of Delta Cast. Some of the materials that you will need scissors, stockinette, a cutting strip, Velcro, soft and hook, padding, water, and a towel. First step is to cut the stockinette and place it over your patient's hand and forearm. You want to make sure that they're in a comfortable position depending on how early the injury is. You may need to place them over a ramp. When you cut the stockinette, make sure that it clears the DPC and also there is a hole for the thumb clearing part of the thenar eminence. Next, you want to take your foam padding and cut it appropriately, placing the padding over the bony prominences of the hand and forearm. So for example, I will be placing the padding over the ulnar styloid. Next, you want to get your cutting strip and place it over the dorsum of the hand and forearm. This is where you will be cutting the delta cast after it is complete. Next, you want to get your gloves on and get your 2 inch delta cast. And your water. And once you open the delta cast, it will start hardening. So you want to work quickly after placing it in the water. Make sure your patient is in the proper position. Place the delta cast in the water, squeeze out a little bit of the water, and start wrapping proximally to distally, or you can go distally to proximally. When you're wrapping, overlap by about one inch circumferentially, and you do not need to pull the delta cast too right, too tight around the patient's forearm. Once you get towards the thenar eminence, you will have to cut a strip to go through the web space so the delta cast clears the thumb. Continue to wrap, making sure that you still are clearing the DPC so the patient can move his or her fingers when the cast is complete. Once you are done wrapping, you can cut the excess delta cast if you have any remaining. Make sure the end is secured. And now you will be placing your patient into the proper positioning depending on what orthosis you are making. I will be placing the patient into about 20 to 30 degrees of wrist extension and you will hold them in that position until the material starts to dry.
a little trick that I learned was that soap can help with the stickiness. You do not have to use it, but rubbing it around the cast will help with some of that stickiness. The cast doesn't take too long to harden, but you want to make sure that the proper position is maintained while it is drying. Now you can remove your gloves and tap on the cast with your fingers to see if it is hard enough to cut. You don't want to cut it too early before it is dry because then the material will start to fray. You also don't want to wait too long because it will be extremely hard to cut the delta cast after it is too hard. Cut along the cutting strip. And now you can remove the cutting strip and remove the cast from your patient. Next, you will cut a thumb hole as well as cut along the edges and round out the edges of the cast. As you can see, I already did that and placed it back on the patient so you could see. Once you do that, you can start applying the soft edging around all of the edges of the cast, as you can see there. Don't forget the thumb hole, that is very important for the patient and so it is comfortable. Next I will be applying the hook Velcro. I'm going to be using two pieces and two straps for the patient. Another trick I learned is by using a heat gun, you can heat up the sticky edge of the hook Velcro and that will help apply the Velcro better to the cast. It will also allow it to stay better. If that trick doesn't work, you can also take some of that soft edging material and anchor each of the edges of the hook Velcro, which will allow it to stay onto the cast. So as you can see, I will do that right now. Take some of the soft edging and then anchor it on the edges of the Velcro. Once you are done anchoring the Velcro, you can apply your straps and cut them appropriately to fit the patient. So by doing that, you can put the cast on the patient and then measure the soft straps around and connect it to the Velcro. Finally, you wanna make sure it's comfortable for the patient. There's no areas poking the patient there's no adjustments needed and that he or she is able to move the fingers and the thumb so he or she can functionally use his hand throughout the day while also in the cast.